10 chapters have been deleted from the chemistry syllabus of class 11th and 12th. That amounts to almost 33%, one third of the entire chemistry syllabus. Will these chapters be asked in this year JNE? UGC chairman writes why NCRT revisions must be revisited. So should you be studying these chapters? Because these are not just any ordinary chapters. Hi everyone, welcome back to this beautiful channel by Silparas Tagore and today we are going to talk about a particular decision made by NCRT that will affect the life and the career of almost 5 million students. Yes, you heard me right, almost 5 million students will be affected by this decision of rationalizing the syllabus by NCRT. So you must have heard that NCRT has recently revised the textbooks of all the classes and this rationalization exercise caused immense confusion among the students, teachers, principals, all everybody who is involved in education. Okay, whether they are teaching or whether they are preparing for the competitive exams. But what exactly is the problem and why this immense confusion and top media outlets are not talking about the problem that I am going to address today. 10 chapters have been deleted from the chemistry syllabus of class 11th and 12th. Yes, 10 chapters. That amounts to almost 33%, one third of the entire chemistry syllabus for the J and NEET aspirants. Yes, both. So, will these chapters be asked in this year J and NEET? Even if we consider that we are only talking about the NEET, but the change also affects the J candidates as well, right? So, should you be studying these chapters? Because these are not just any ordinary chapters. We'll go through, I'll tell you what all chapters have been deleted from the syllabus and will that affect the NTA syllabus? for the NEET 2024 or not? And if yes, then what's the problem? And if you know, then what's the big problem? So let's get started. So these are the 10 chapters, technically 11 because P block is in class 11th as well as 12th and the entire P block has been deleted. First is states of matter. The biggest problem with this change is, now, some of you might be saying, sir, this change is not applicable for us because this is because of the COVID circumstances, right? But the problem is, this year in CBSC schools and 1000 more schools who are following CBSC syllabus or the NCRT, the students in those classrooms will not study states of matter. If you do not study states of matter, how are you supposed to understand thermodynamics, the behavior of gases? So that is a blunder. First, second, hydrogen is out, S block is out, P block class 11th, 12th completely out, environmental chemistry, that was a small topic that won't affect much solid state class 12th out surface chemistry class 12th out metallurgy class 12th out polymers class 12th out chemistry and everyday life out so some of these chapters were the most scoring topics the topics that you could complete in minimum time and still score maximum marks from these now the problem is suppose even if these topics are coming and we have to prepare all the content all the chapters just like every year but the problem is, the students who are studying in schools this year, they will not study these chapters as per the syllabus because the NCRT has not asked that uh, we are just eliminating these from the board syllabus. No, NCRT has actually deleted these chapters from the latest textbooks or the rationalized syllabus for the 2023-2024. So if students will not study these 10 chapters in the schools and somebody is coming from a poor background, somebody studying in a government school where these 10 chapters will not be covered. How are they supposed to complete these 10 chapters if these are going to be asked in NEET? So let us try to see, try to understand what media has to say about this and how big is this confusion? Is there any clarity? Now let's see. First, news coverage by Times of India changes in the syllabus by NCRT are justified. So they're saying it is justified. Education is a dynamic process that keeps on changing and enriching over time to meet the needs of society. What they are trying to say is that based on the recent or the latest needs of the society, some of the content has been removed. Or maybe that content is being taught in the higher classes or has already been covered in the junior classes. So there's a duplication of content, same content being taught in different, different classes. Okay, repetition. So that is why we have removed some of the content. But 10 chapters, we are not teaching P-Block, Metallurgy, Surface Chemistry, Solid State in any of the junior classes. And because they are part of this competitive exam called J and NEET and 50 lakhs students, 5 million students are the aspirants preparing for these two exams. 
right so it is a very very big problem as well as uh, for students teachers academicians all over the country so what they are trying to say is the nep the national education policy 2020 also intends to reduce the content load from school textbooks so you want to reduce the load then simply accept it or at least come forward with a statement some clarity that whether we have to uh, like uh, consider this change for the nta conducted exams je need as well or they'll follow the same trend just like every every year so there is no clarity by the nta or by any government official or outlet second by the mint ncert on dropping periodic table making content more age appropriate it is not about periodic table there are bigger chapter more important chapters that we need to think about ncert revision deletions students in the dark on syllabus for competitive exam in 2024 yeah that is one one good article that somebody has written that yes students and parents are being forced to spend on coaching centers and private tutors at schools stick to the rationalized syllabus because schools have said that we are not going to teach these deleted chapters so you have to seek external help you need to hire private tutors or you need to pay big sum to these coaching institutes and even the coaching institute they are confused whether to teach or not to teach but they are going ahead with the decision of teaching these 10 chapters right now coming to the ED prime rationalize science math syllabus leave j need experience with missing links exactly now somebody has actually addressed the problem actually acknowledge that there is a problem up board to revise class 10 11 and 12 syllabus following ncert changes this is a topic by our article by india today so the up board is also following the ncert lead ncert consulted 25 external experts for syllabus rationalization says government so i am not saying that ncert is wrong in rationalizing the content because the need or the idea behind this entire exercise as explained by the drishti is also that the students who were uh, suffering or who suffered a big damage because of the covid scenario maybe the students who were in class 7th and 8th so when they are coming in 9th and 10th and they spent their 7th and 8th during the covid time so their academic growth or the knowledge was not appropriate so to facilitate them or to uh, like make them their life easier they have reduced some chapters from 9th and 10th so what was the rationale behind the rationalization exercise the updating of textbooks is a regular process yes it is to reflect the changing realities okay but the reality about the competitive exam is not changing in accordance with the nep okay that is fine the pandemic effect that is the main thing okay that is the main thing why this change was done so recently just a few days back ugc chairman writes why ncert revisions must be revisited yes the ugc chairman has just said that these changes whatever the changes have been made they must be revisited and ncert must come forward and assure parents The rationalization in textbook was meant to alleviate covid stress ncert should assure parents that it will revisit and review so that means the chapters will be readded or they are supposed to be readded that is what ugc chairman has to say to ease the apprehension of parents and students ncert should clarify that this year's truncated science syllabus is only a temporary phase and it will be fixed uh it will fix the science syllabus in the 2024 academic session that would be the rational thing to do we cannot continue to teach our school students trimmed science they definitely you cannot teach them in organic chemistry by removing almost 70% of the inorganic chemistry in school education topics such as evolution the periodic table energy sources should be introduced as oh, now they are focus on the class 10th content okay so i think now it is very clear what exactly happened and why this is a big deal so what i want you guys to do is follow this topic make some tweet to the nta chairman whether we should consider this updation in the ncert for the neat and j as well or not and because your entire strategy your planning your preparation your timetable everything depends on whether this change is permanent or not so that's me paras thakur for you i hope this was a enlightening session and if you like the session do like share and subscribe the channel and i would love to hear your feedback your views in the comment section so do find time a few seconds to drop a beautiful comment right okay thank you have a wonderful day bye